Peace and blessings, everyone. So it's been a, lo a little while since I last did a uh, concepts and ideas video. And I want to share with you one that I just thought of today. Um, so what it is is a new track and field event, a new Olympic event, event called the Distant Dash. And what it is, um, you're trying to run the fastest over the longest distance possible. So you're trying to outrun. The way it will be, you determine a winner is you start off as if in your uh, in say a hundred meter dash, start off at the blo in the blocks, right, side by side. And it goes until the person who is in the lead is caught by whoever's in the second place or whatever. So the person in the lead is caught. That's what it is. So imagine this. You have Hussein Bolt. Hussein. Hussein Bolt, who just won the gold medal. The fastest man in the world. You put him on the blocks. You line him up. At his top speed, at Usain's top speed, how far can he run before he is caught? And so it is combining, because um, you know, like take the 100 yard dash, well, I mean 100 meter dash. Sometimes runners uh, can catch up to someone and win within the last 10 or so meters. So some runners don't, don't really get into their full stride and top speed until the last 10 meters or so. Now, let's say a person gets 80 meters and then they're, they're, they're tracked down and caught up to 80 meters. Well, what that mean is the person who ran 80, he would just that would be the that would be the time set, the time and distance. How long it took him to get to the 80 before he was caught. Now, what it what it require is he would need to work on getting longer distance with that speed, and the person who caught up to him would need to work on obtaining his optimum speed quicker. So you see how it works. So, the, like I said, the time is set as time is set from when the person lead is caught. So once again, you're trying to run your fastest, the furthest. So it's speed and distance. Just an idea. God bless. Peace and love.